Okay, so I got here the uh, chili de arbol. It's that kind, that small one. That is the chili arbol, the small one that I just took out from the bag. This is chili California. And that the size, that how it's look. A little bigger, it's dry. That is chili go gojio, and it's kind of like between <coughs> yeah, I'm trying to do it in one hand and. Sometimes it doesn't show the way I was doing it. Okay, that more or less the size. It was, those are dried chili pepper. And this is um, chili in New Mexico. And they're a little bit bigger. Chili red, the chili red pepper of the New Mexico, it's a little bit more red. Uh, and it's kind of like bigger than those. So they're on the plastic here. Yeah, very dark red. So I got here uh, a four type of chili. Chili of California, Chili of name New Mexico, Chili of um, Gugio, Gugio it's the, it's the medium one, and Chili of Herbal. Now for the Arisa, you don't must to have all of them. You can just use one type, two type, two or three. You choose. Okay, the seasoning that you need for the Arisa, it's, uh, it's up to everybody what they want to put. But if you want it to make it a little bit uh, rich, in test so use um, a lot of spice basically you know that what makes the arisa different from other arisas so basically uh, from the spices group so we have the crushed pepper that I use about a four tablespoon because I like the seeds you use the ground paprika that it's about uh, two tablespoons to two, three tablespoons it's up to you if you like it more or less um that garlic and you use this is fresh garlic so you use about 10 clover between 8 to 12 clover of garlic fresh garlic make sure that it's um uh, don't have black spots and it's not yellow uh, any oil but about two tablespoon of olive oil and about four tablespoon of regular oil it's mean canola or um, uh, vegetable oil it's up to you to use what type of oil you want you know type of oil okay so this is the oil about one tablespoon of salt about uh, I believe about two to three tablespoon of onion either fresh or dry half tablespoon of black pepper And um, half tablespoon of cayenne pepper. If you don't want cayenne pepper, just don't put. Uh, 
lime it's an option some people like to put the lime in the arisa some people don't so you can put it when you're serving the arisa you can put lime half tablespoon of um, corn paper that is corn paper can get it in uh, different type of stores that selling it half teaspoon of coriander and half teaspoon of caraway and when you pull all of them in the in the um, food processor they basically crush and become like a paste so this is mostly the um, the seasoning that you put in Arisa. Some people don't put any seasoning. Some people put seasoning. It's up to you if you like. If there is certain seasoning or certain spices that you don't like or you usually don't use, so don't use. Doesn't make any difference. It's just, uh, it's depend on the taste that you like in the Arisa. Arisa is usually a dish that you add to chili beans, to sandwiches, to tuna, to fish dish, to steak, to chicken. Basically, it goes with everything. If you like to add a little bit and you don't use a lot, you use just one teaspoon because it's usually very, very spicy and it's very strong. Yeah, it depends on the size of the arisa that you put. I probably use like about, <clears throat> let me see, uh, about 18 pieces of chili pepper, dry chili pepper. So I'm using about between 8 to 12 um, garlic uh, clover, 8 to 12, because... The main essence of the arisa is the main essence of the arisa is the chili pepper, the crushed pepper, chili pepper, any kind of red chili pepper, and the garlic and the oil. And now it's up to you if you like to use a, just a vegetable oil, any kind of vegetable oil, canola oil. Or you like to add like two to three spoon of olive oil. Olive oil just make it a little rich. Okay. This coriander, this caraway, this corn pepper. Okay, to make the video as good as you can, uh, you're going to need a tripod. Tripod is basically that uh, tool that uh, help you to hold uh, the cell phone. Yeah, I have it, but I never had the, um, the way to put it. Yeah. But anyway, so it's look like that. And you kind of putting it standing up and you put it you put the um, the cell phone so it's supporting the cell phone so you can be free handed
Okay, this is a big empty bowl. Um, it happened to be that it's antique. You can see that it's probably 40 years old, probably more, I'm not sure, but I had, I had it more than 25 years, but anyway. So it's a big uh, bowl and I'll be putting those chili pepper and I'll be soaking it on a wa in the water uh, enough to cover the chili pepper. It's mean, I'm from every bag like that, let's say I pull six, six of those chili pepper from each bag, six or eight chili pepper from each bag, and I'm going to put it in a big bowl, and then I'm going to um, cover it with water, a socket for 10 to 15 minutes, at least 10 to 15 minutes. If you want more, you can do it more, but socket enough so they get a little moist and they get a little bit um, um, soft. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> there is an option if you, if you want to get rid of the seeds. I'm not going to get rid of all the seeds. I'm going to get rid of the... I'm going to get rid of that part, you know going to get rid of this part but uh, most of the seed I probably leave I leave some seeds because this is my favorite part in the chili paper but it's up to you if you don't like seed get rid of the seed so I put it in a bowl I cover it and then um, after I suck it for 10 to uh, 15 minutes I drain it in a big colander Okay, uh, here it is in a bowl, in a big bowl. I picked up like about uh, eight pieces from each kind and I put it in a big bowl. Now I'm going to add water on top and put water cover enough to cover and suck the... Um, chili pepper now uh, it's up to you if you want a tap water if you want warm water if you want room temperature water I just use tap water basically just to moist them and cover it but some people insist boiled water whatever it's up to you I just use tape towel, facet water and just cover it cover it in a way that at least it's covered the, the chili pepper. Okay. Okay, I filled it with water and I'm going to let it soak for 15, 15-20 minutes or so. Some people want to soak it for 10 minutes, it's fine. About okay between 10 to 20 minutes it's up to you how moist and soft you want it and then i um, drain the water put it in a colander and drain the water now when you start to touch water and chili paper you must use gloves glove it's to avoid the heat because what combination with water and chili pepper make it even hard, um, uh, the heat even gets stronger. So use white or blue or whatever color gloves that go to help you to deal with the heat on the hand when you handle chili pepper. Now I separate it in two bowls because it was too much to put it in one bowl. 
so I just let it soak for 10-15 minutes and then basically what I do I didn't set the tripod sorry because I didn't was sure if it's going to hold it strong enough but basically what you do after it get moist and soft you snap that you see this part this part the dry part when you attach to the branch you snap it get rid of it and throw it in the trash those parts the dry one the one that attached to branch get rid of it snap it and then the seed inside either you want to keep some of it or clean all of it it's up to you but in all this proce uh, procedure you must use a glove it's up to you also if you want to use a gloves if you don't want to use a glove you can wash that your hand very very well with lemon juice the lemon okay water and chili pepper make it very hot lemon um clean the chili pepper heat reduce the chili pepper heat okay those are the gloves So they are still <clears throat> sucking in the water. I cut a little bit of here. Um, you got to need a few knives, you know, whatever you are comfortable with. Uh, small, medium, big, whatever. I'm very, very comfortable with tiny one, with small knife. They cut. It happened to be that I control it better. But anyway, <clears throat> so basically... Um, you get rid of those, those going to the trash, all these, all these parts attached to the branch going to the trash, that you don't need. This, this is the part that you need. So I cleaned some of them and I just start and there is some of them, they have the seed inside. So some of them you want to keep, you can keep. Some of them you want to get rid of it, you get rid of it. The more seed there is, um, it's hotter. This is why I like the seed. Yeah. So this one going to the trash. This one is still sucking. I'm still working on it. You see, I put my hand in the water in the heat. If I didn't have a gloves, I probably my hands going uh, get burning from it. So I must to suck it in the water. Now there is some type of arisa. I don't know how I got that idea, but I think there is type of an arisa that people don't <coughs> don't suck. The Arisa in water at all and it's my top favor the one that they don't use no water at all but um, at some point I need a little bit moist to make it soft you can use this knife you can use this one little one that's my favorite one I, I use it almost on everything can use this big one but this one it's not sharp it's it's good enough to cut vegetables and fruit and whatever <clears throat> okay so all these going to the trash that what I clean part of it I didn't finish yet cleaning the rest of it <clears throat> And this is how it looks about to, to be ready. I need just to drain them from the water. I left some seed in it. That's going to the trash. And this is the water after. So here basically mostly it's cleaned. I'm going to rinse them one more time. <clears throat> just
just in case. I still leave the seeds in the bottom. The, the seeds are usually sunk in the bottom. So if you like to keep it, just keep it. <clears throat> now, you during that uh, procedure, you can use another bowl just to, if you don't have enough place in one bowl, you can use another a medium sized bowl or a big bowl or small bowl whatever whatever you have you can separate them in a two three bowls if it's not enough to put all of them <clears throat> now you got to cough quite a quite a lot because the heat of the chili pepper going to make you cough but it's very natural it's uh, nothing to uh, worried about it if you coughing when you during the procedures the processing of the chili pepper now I'm going to rinse it one time and then I'm going to drain them and I left some seeds that they go to sink in the bottom you can use any knife you like any whatever tool you want Okay, I'm going to repeat it very, very quick now. I'll try to do it as quick as I can because my video going on and on and on. So this is the chili pepper that basically it's clean. I, I am going to go and drain it in a calendar. The tools that I go to need mostly. Uh, 8 to 12 8 to 12 garlic um, clover. I'm going to open it and crush it or, or chop it really, really tiny. Make sure that the garlic is good. It's not uh, old or not good. So make sure that it's fresh. Very, very important that the garlic <coughs> uh, fresh. This is coriander. I go to put probably half half tablespoon of coriander, grounded coriander. This is the caraway, and when I'm going to put it in the in the food processor, basically it's going to uh, ground it. <laughs> By now I have running nose and I'm coughing and whatnot and all that because the heat of the red pepper that's what it does because you're coughing and running nose but all of it it's cleansing so you don't need to worry about it this is the corn pepper again uh, when it's going to be in the food processor it's going to crash with the rest of the things this is a fresh crushed pepper that I got so I'm going to put about four tablespoon of it <laughs> more seeds to make it hot 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 so when you eat it you put it just one teaspoon not a lot in a dish this why it's very very hot because <clears throat> it's essence of everything from the crushed red pepper I this is another type it's the same thing basically it's another brand so i probably put one tablespoon of this one too i put two tablespoon of uh paprika paprika half teaspoon to one teaspoon of cayenne pepper and this is option completely option you don't must to go for cayenne pepper. Some people don't like cayenne pepper, so you you don't must to put it. From all these uh, uh, spices, it's really option. It's up to you what you like, what you don't like, whatever you like, you put it, whatever you don't like, don't put. Dry <coughs> flake of onion, and you can put two tablespoons of this. See, dry onion. And uh, this is also option, the garlic pepper. I probably put half teaspoon of it. This is another option. If you like it, put it. If you don't, it's up to you. 
So I put half teaspoon because it's very, very strong. All of it's strong here. Everything that you see here, it's very, very strong. Everything you see here. This is caraway, this is coriander, and this is corn peppers. And this is crushed pepper. And lime, it's up to you. Lime, some people don't put lime in arisa. I don't put lime in arisa. I put it in salsa, but not arisa. So you can add in the end, when you serve a dish, whatever you are eating, you can add squeeze of lime in it or put uh, a lime grated in it. But I don't put it inside of the arisa. <clears throat> yeah, this video is going to be very long. And it's going to be forever and ever and ever. All my point here to do that is for my children when they feel like doing it, they can do it. You know. And this I need to break that and clean the clean the um, shells and either crush it or uh, or chop it very very tiny bit. I can do it in a food processor too. Uh, for between 8 to 12 clover of garlic. You need a bowl, empty bowl to, to mix all the spices before you put it in a food processor. So I have an empty bowl here, so I put all the spices. And I add the chili pepper that it's all about. Okay, by now the chili pepper is rehydrating and sucked in the water and got softer and cleaner. I'm going to drain it. I'm in a processing of going to drain it. I end up um, cleaning about uh, four heads of garlic clover. So... I use a little bit more because I have a lot of chili pepper. So the more chili pepper you have, the more garlic you use. Because garlic is one of the foundation of the arisa. Garlic, chili pepper and oil. It's the foundation of the arisa. So I got rid of the shells. This one going to the trash. Don't put it in the arisa. This is the shells. Yeah, I end up using like four heads of garlic, a lot more than what I thought. And this is all the mix of the seasoning and the spices. This is basically all the seasoning and the spices. I end up putting a lot more because uh, you need to use your sense uh, with Arisa. If you don't have sense with Arisa, don't start it, but uh, you need a little bit of uh, common sense, what you need and what you don't need. So here is all the spices. By now I mixed all the spices here. You know, I use tablespoon, teaspoon, whatever you have, tool you have, and mix all the spices. This is before I put... And oil, it's a must. Olive oil or canola oil or vegetable oil. And salt, it's a must. Half teaspoon salt. One tablespoon of salt. That's okay. You need to peel the shells from the garlic. The shell, it's hard. So you need to get rid of it. Okay, I put all the garlic that I peeled and cleaned, I put in the food processor. And I just made a few poles. A few poles enough to make it um, 
ground uh, yeah hold on let me see how that okay you want it uh, coarse a little bit not to not to um, battery not to uh, you know like that that's the perfect way that you need to look. Yeah, that is perfect. Okay, I put here the the seasoning, all the seasoning, and I'm going to ground it, ground it, ground it. Yeah, something like that. So I put this. I don't know the I put here the seasoning all the seasoning in a food processor and I'm going to ground it. It spill a little bit but it's okay you can clean it after in the end of the work. So um I put here all the seasoning in the food processor. I will ground all of it. Okay, uh, the seasoning is it's inside. Okay, so grounding the in the food processor this way, all the seasoning been ground. Okay, that's how the seasoning need to look here. I probably do like another 10 to 20 pours uh, to ground it even better. So I probably go for another two to three minute grounding. And this is just the seasoning. I didn't put yet the chili pepper. Hopefully people don't laugh doing it, but I have a reason why I'm doing it. In my parents' house, it was a tradition doing the Arisa. My mom and my dad uh, gather like uh, four times a year and do like a big giant, uh, big Arisa. So it was like a big ceremony. They took all day just to make it. So it's something that I was growing up. And Arisa... I known in Turkey, known in Armenia, known in Tunisia, known in Morocco, but I think the original Arisa came from Tunisian. So I grew up on that recipe, and it's very, very good because uh, it's cleansing the body. Don't use too much of it. Like I say, whoever laugh can laugh, whoever don't laugh, don't laugh, whatever the case. It's something I love, so and it's something really, really tasty if you do it right. Okay, uh, here when the chili is soaked, I need to take the chili and basically um, drain as much water as I can and uh, throw up, uh, throw the water away. I don't need this water in the Arisa. I don't need it. 
so I get rid of the water as much as I can I just kind of like <clears throat> yeah drain it with your hand like that and let the water uh, drain and throw it away I don't need the water and now <clears throat> here I put it in the in the food processor and I'm going to ground the chili pepper now the chili pepper it's here I already uh, kind of now sometimes you need to stir it from time to time you need to stir it yeah I'm going to open it now and I go to stir it from time to time so this way it's going to be mixed it's kind of a mess now <clears throat> it's all over you know when you do that kind of chili pepper from that dry pepper you need really an all day to just uh, take care of it because it takes a lot, a lot of time, and this why people buying it ready in a jar. But I like it when I make it homemade because it's tasty. So you can see, we used to have different food processor that it's going different direction. And I just put it and I try a few pulls. it as much as you can again I open it and I still have a lot to go so it's going to be another four or six times that I do that because I still have some of it in the water yeah that I'm going to drain and put and basically that is it all the things and then I, in some point I go and mix it with the seasoning and get the texture I want it this how it's look in the food processor I'm going to make another four or five, six of them. It's very, very, very hot, burning hot. And I didn't even put the spices yet. You can imagine that. So when I put the spices, it, it get even testier with the black pepper, the salt, and the coriander and the caraway. So it's going to give it exactly the texture that I'm looking for. I don't want it to look like butter or like paste I want it a little bit coarse and that's the way I want it this is uh, how it's look taking it out from the food processor I still didn't put the seasoning so <clears throat> I go ahead and put the seasoning now like I say if you coughing and you have running nose when you do that it's um, because the heat of the uh, of the uh, chili pepper it's very 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 hot so you can uh, when you do that uh, just keep away from it until you're done with it so yeah uh, I still need to put the seasoning I still need to put the oil I still need to put the salt and the black pepper and it's, I still have some more chili pepper to go to, to put so this is not all of it
by now you adding the rest of the garlic paper the grounded the one that you ground earlier and you just add it <clears throat> yeah and ground it together as much as you can just stir it so it's kind of mixed well I still have to I still have some more to go yeah. there is a, ch a chance that you spill a lot a lot from it it's okay if you spill because this is not a clean work you spill a lot this is some of it that I already did with the spices. It's a lot of work and a lot of mess and a lot of spinning and it's a lot take a lot of time. Yeah. It's supposed to get really 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 tasty and burning hot. Wow, I don't believe it that I'm doing it. Some people doing it once in a lifetime. Now there is a special machine that doing this and uh, a grounding beef. You can ground those chili peppers, but if you do it small batches, batches each time. Wow, I'm screaming here. So if you're doing it, it uh, small batches each time, so <clears throat> so you can do it in a food processor. You just need to put small amount, so it's actually grounding it. But like I said earlier, there is a machine, a special machine grounding it. <clears throat> I don't have this machine uh, because I barely use it once in a few years, so. Um, so you can use food processor and just put a small amount each time so we actually ground it okay oh I wanted just to add those things take long 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 time and the processing of it uh, uh, you need time and you need uh, the sense to do it. If you don't have sense to do it, it's kind of hard to figure out how much and when and how. And if you feel it, that you know how you can do it, so do it. Okay, it's already look amazing. It's came really, really awesome. Uh, I put a little salt and I put a little oil. I didn't put all the oil yet, um, but I'm continuing mixing. And like I say, I still have left that I'm working on, so I didn't done yet. But um, I put about uh, two to three tablespoon of uh, olive oil. I put. I'm going also to put some canola oil just to add on it and it's look wonderful it's look great yeah it's I didn't finish yet everything that I wanted to put but it's look very very good the texture that I'm looking for the color that I'm looking for uh, I test a little bit it's burning hot very very hot and um, that's it. Just prepare some uh, jar, if you have any jar, empty jar, <clears throat> anywhere. Just grab some empty jar and put it in the jar, seal it for a week or two. Uh, in the refrigerator, it can be wonderful. Uh, in some cases, if you seal it pretty good in a mason jar, in some cases you can even 
uh, keep it for three weeks in the refrigerator, but must to be in the refrigerator to make sure that it's not going to get spoiled. Okay. I got the texture that I'm looking for, the color that I'm looking for. That's exactly, exactly the texture and the color that I'm looking for. Yeah. And I test it on a bread. One half teaspoon on a garlic bread is just amazing. Excellent. It's come really, really the way I want it. Exactly the way I want it. It's so tasty that you want more and more and more and more. Very, very good. See the texture. I probably going to add a little bit more oil. The salt is perfect. I put enough salt. I don't like it way, way too salty. Yeah. Uh, watch out with the salt. Don't put a lot. You can always add in the end of a processing of the arisa. Don't put salt, too much salt and after you go to be sorry, no. Put a little bit salt and if in a sandwich or in a dish you want to add some more salt. Oh God, it came like so freaking tasty. It's amazing. You want to do it just because the test is, and I didn't finish yet. I needed to take a break, you know. So yeah, the texture is excellent, the color is just too good. With eggplant on a sandwich, with a garlic bread, with hummus, with pita, with falafel, with um, what it's called, uh, any beef dish, any fish dish is just excellent and you can just Use a squeeze of lemon or lime, and you're done. Now, uh, the Tunisian, it's originally, it's a Tunisian dish. The Tunisian uh, put it in a fricassee. Fricassee is another dish with tuna sandwich and eggs and potatoes. And you add one teaspoon of harissa, and you're done. That's it, you have a dish. Okay, I made my Arisa and it's come really very good. That's exactly the color I wanted. Okay, the texture is very good. That's the color I wanted and it's ex excellent. That's exactly, exactly what I'm looking for. See, this is the oil. I probably use like half um, <clears throat> a quarter to, to a half cup of uh, water that it's been boiled. It's mean cold water, but water that it's been boiled. So I probably add like a quarter to half cup to it to get the smooth texture to it. It's come really, really good. This is exactly the way I want it. And I still have another batch to add to it. So I end up uh, getting a big uh, giant uh, bowl of Risa. Pretty, quite a lot, you know. If there is big pieces in it, it's fine. There is nothing wrong with it. Uh, you just test it better. So the garlic is here, the chili pepper here, all the spices that I talked about is here. Uh, I needed to add a little bit more oil and I needed to add uh, like between quarter to half cup of boiled water that it's cold, but it's been boiled. Uh, cold water, but it's that it was boiled, and uh, yeah, uh, I can imagine that on a <clears throat> garlic bread, you know, in a sandwich, in chili pepper, you can put one tablespoon or two tablespoon in a chili pepper, 
in a uh, chili uh, beans, I meant to say, not chili pepper. I meant to say, see that texture, that color? That's what I'm, I was looking for. And, um, yeah, it's a messy job. It's not a clean job. There is a lot of spills and there is a lot of stains everywhere. This is why you got to need towel paper. It's a must. You know, with you to clean all those spills, and um, that food, that food processor, I, it's not my favorite. I used to have, <clears throat> I used to have uh, Hamilton Beach or something like that that I loved so much. I used to have a couple of them before. So I got a giant batch of it. I probably can feel, probably, probably I can feel like about four to five uh, medium size of uh, of uh, uh, jars and I have one of the small jars that's happened to be that it's clean I need to clean some more so I have more jars probably four to five uh, medium size to big size jar and basically what you do you you fill those jars Yeah, that, that tripod was in the way, so I didn't even use it. And you fill the jar. Most of the work of doing a RISA, you must to have um, gloves. In some processing, you must to have gloves gloves especially when you touch it directly that's it so this is the Arisa it's look very very good already it's look awesome if there is a company out there I'd be more than happy to sell them uh, well <clears throat> I told them all the secrets but there is more secrets so <laughs> So I'd be more than happy to give them this recipe if there is a company is ready to can it and sell it. I have different dates here on the, this jar. But basically you feel like about four to six medium sized jar. And this is perfect, perfect, perfect. This is exactly, exactly the way I want it. And it's test amazing, amazing. If you do that, you want it every day. It, it, the test, it's like, it's not enough. Every day you want from it, you know. You can add it to a salsa, you can add it to chili bean, you can add it to fish, you can add it to beef. Excellent. It came the way exactly I want it. That's a big giant bowl of arisa. Three weeks in the fridge there, and it's okay. That's it done. Took me about between three to four hours together today to do it, but it's fine, you know. I kept. I try to keep uh, as close as I can, as my mom used to do the recipe. You know, as my mom. But yeah. I'm not sure exactly how my mom used to do it. I was young. I left the house to high school when I was 12. But before that, I remember that um, that my father and my mom used to do that. Her Arisa, for some reason, was more red vivid. I don't know. Probably one of the seasoning she doesn't put, like caraway. I don't know. You can add a little thyme and you can add a little uh, squeeze of uh, lime. Yeah, lime. When you serve it, you can add some lime. And those the seasoning because I'm kind of looking at the texture and I'm looking how it's look and I think is the seasoning look like that. But anyway, I tried my best. Garlic, it's a must. Oil, it's a must. 
probably add a little bit more oil and um, chili pepper it's a must or is a story it's a long long story and it's a messing and spilled everywhere don't ask it's a mess but you can eat from it and I guess you'll be healthy because it's cleansing the body Arisa, story of the Arisa. Tunisian origin, originally come from Tunis. Awesome. That's it. I hope I did everything okay. <clears throat> Probably separated in uh, like four to five to six uh, medium size jars. Keeping it for probably two to three weeks, depend how long it stays. It's excellent with shakshuka. Whoever knows what is shakshuka, it's excellent to do it. Probably one day I do shakshuka. Okay, bon appetit. Enjoy this arisa. It took me like three to four hours to do it. And I'm going to do This is the batch that I did earlier. It came really big, giant bowl. It came really awesome and hot. With oil, garlic, and chili pepper. That came excellent the way it's up here. And I put a little bit on a piece of paper. Oh my god, you start, you don't want to. You don't want to start basically. You don't like it so much. It's the best, Arisa in the world and I can tell you that for 100% I put in a garlic uh, bread took a few garlic bread I just put it on the garlic bread you can beat that add a little bit um, of some pickles and olives best thing you can have ever. You can, you can put chicken in the side, you can put tuna in the side, you can put uh, whatever you feel, feel like it. With boiled egg, with fried egg. The best. The best of recent time. some olives, some marisa on it, and that's the best thing, if you can, if you have the tools, the place, the time, because it took me between three to four hours together, so if you have that opportunity to do it, you're going to test one of the best things you ever have. I put some I give some to my daughter and I put I give some to my son my sons <clears throat> that's it week two weeks three weeks in the refrigerator it's excellent wow I love it because I ate a sandwich from it and I'm going for the next sandwich it's very very yummy very hot, it's not for everybody. It's, a, it's very burning hot. So that's it. I got it, took a long, long time to do it. Originally, I wanted to do it together with my daughter, but I just said I'm going to do it by myself here, and then uh, we 
arrange one of those day to do it together and I do it with my son and to join it. It's the idea of to do it together with his dad. Yeah. It's a lot of mess. It takes a long time. Now, it's excellent for, for fricassee. It's excellent for chili beans. It's excellent for shakshuka. It's excellent for pizza. Hot, yummy pizza. It's excellent for... Uh, side uh, near fish it's excellent for chicken beef on the side whatever you choose came exactly the way I want it quarter to, to a half cup of uh, water that it's been boiled. It's mean cold water, but water that it's been boiled. So I probably add like a quarter to half cup to it to get the smooth texture to it. It's come really, really good. It is exactly the way I want it. I still have another batch to add to it. 